Alright, what's up YouTube? Welcome back for another video. Uh, I was going to wait till my sound card came in the mail from Amazon and I have better audio quality, but never did show up. So, it's running late, you know, um, so i got to do without it. And I uh, hope you guys had a very, very Merry Christmas yesterday. Um, holly Jolly Christmas, how you want to say it. Uh, happy Hanukkah, all that good stuff. And um, I hope you guys had a good, fun, safe, happy, enjoyable Christmas. Anyway, we we'll get right to the video. Um, stupidly expensive things Michael Jordan owns. Uh, I'm quite sure he owns a lot of restaurants. Maybe a private jet. I don't know what else he probably owns. I know he owns a lot of rings and stuff. But anyway, we're not finna try to go down a whole lot of stuff that he might own that I don't even know. Anyway, it, let's get into the video, man. Subscribe are new. the top 10 stupidly expensive things Michael Jordan owns. And for number 10, what if I told you Jordan has a stupidly expensive addiction that's costing him hundreds of thousands of dollars? See, there's one thing Jordan loves a little too much. Cigars. Oh, In fact, man. during a 2017 interview with Cigar Aficionado, Jordan admitted that by 1993, smoking cigars had become a pregame ritual. And after retiring from the NBA, the man took his addiction to a whole new level. Because these days, he ain't just smoking one or two cigars a day. I smoke six cigars a day. And six. according to Jordan, his favorite smoke is called Partagas Lusitanius, which are worth anywhere from $14 to $24 per cigar. Per cigar. So if we assume he's been smoking six of these a day since retiring from the NBA, that means Jordan has spent between $550,000 and $940,000 on his cigar addiction alone. That's and wild. that's a lot of money to just burn away. Yeah. But Jordan dropped even more on number nine one of the most expensive car collections in NBA history. And it all began in 1984, when as a rookie, Jordan copped his very first sports car, a 1984 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Dude, and after Corvette. taking this thing for Stingray. a spin, Jordan developed a need for speed. So he went on a sports car shopping spree, buying three more Corvettes, three brand new Porsches, and five different Ferraris. Damn. Ridiculous. You know Jordan had money if he buying all those cars in a in a small amount of time. Just probably like within months he was just buying cars. <clears throat> That's wild, man. Five Ferraris. But believe it or not, there's one more whip in Jordan's garage that's worth more than ever. So that's his garage? God, just give me two of them cars. Every car in his entire collection. His ultra rare 2010 Bugatti Veyron sing. Now I've seen some Bugattis up close, <clears throat> but I've never seen one like this. This is hard. Noir. Mm. With 1,000 horsepower, 922 pound feet of torque, and a top speed of 252 oh, that's miles too per fast. hour, no. this thing is basically one of a kind. I mean, there's only 12 of these Sang Noirs in existence, making it worth $2.2 million. Oh my God. And when you add it to the other 23 cars in his garage, Jordan's entire collection is worth over $5.7 million. But that's just a car let's be honest, man. That's just a car collection. Alone. Is jump change to a billionaire like Jordan. So let's talk about what he spends tens of millions on. Like number eight, a golf course so valuable, poor people aren't even allowed inside. Yeah. See, back in 2019, Jordan was so tired of golfing with regular people that he figured, why not make his own country club? So he went out and bought 226 acres of land in Florida and designed the most stupidly expensive country club in America. Row 23. And uh, this place features a 15,000 square foot clubhouse equipped with lounge areas, dining facilities, a home delivery service that literally brings drinks to people. I mean, uh, the course even has personal cigar rollers on location. Yeah, someone rolls cigars for you while you golf. But uh, if this sounds like a place you'd want to golf at, don't get your hopes up, man, because Grow 23. If I was a golfer, maybe, but just a, just think about it. Just <clears throat> he got his own golf course and drones dropping off beverages and stuff. That's wild. I don't know if I wonder what I'm eating, but 
is invite only per Michael Jordan's orders. And only the richest, most famous people in the world are allowed to golf here. I'm talking celebrities like Barack Obama, who's one of only 80 people to have a Grove 23 membership. And owning this country club is not cheap because the value of Jordan's exclusive golf course comes out to $15 million. Damn. Damn. At this point, it. it's pretty clear Jordan likes spending big on himself. But don't get it twisted. Jordan spends even bigger on his community. Because what he owns in number seven is literally saving people's lives. See, back in 2019, Jordan was looking for a way to give back to his hometown of Charlotte, North Carolina. And when he learned that thousands of families were struggling to afford health care, he decided to build two separate Michael Jordan family medical clinics. Facilities that are equipped with exam... Nah, that's a lot of things he owned that's real stupidly expensive, but this is worth it. This is really worth it. He's helped people out, so that means a lot. Rooms, x-rays, and a physical therapy space, all designed to provide health care for low-income families. And these two clinics ended up costing Michael Jordan $3.5 million each. But as if this wasn't already generous enough, Jordan topped it just two years later, when in 2021, he announced he was spending another $10 million to build two more medical facilities in Charlotte. Get the money the total for amount it. Jordan owns in health clinics to $17 million. Yeah, this man's out here dropping racks on hospitals. <laughs> so inspirational. But look, man, his purchases are only going to get crazier from here. Because what Jordan bought in number six made sports history. And I'm not talking about basketball. See, when he was a kid, there was another sport that Jordan loved watching. NASCAR. In fact, Jordan loved the sport so much that in 2020, he decided to take his fandom to a whole new level. Teaming up with racing legend Denny Hamlin to create his very own NASCAR team. 2311 racing. That's crazy. And this one purchase was a huge deal for Jordan because it made him the first black NASCAR owner in nearly 50 years. But as great as this achievement was, things got even better for Jordan a year later when in 2021, during his team's first ever NASCAR Cup Series, 2311 managed to take home first place in the Yellowwood 500. And with a team this successful, the total value of 2311 racing comes out to over $25 million. Damn. Damn. A NASCAR team, four clinics, a golf course. Clearly, Jordan's got a lot of business to attend to. And that's exactly why he went out and spent even more money on number five. His very <coughs> own custom Gulfstream G550 private jet. This thing is crazy. It can hold up to 16 passengers, has Damn. three living areas, two bathrooms, its own internet provider, <coughs> and to top it all off, a few years after buying the jet, Jordan dropped over $350,000 on a custom elephant print paint job, bringing the total value of his G550 to $61,850,000. I swear, yeah, this man Jordan knows how to spend his money. Uh, at least that's what I thought. Because what he bought at number four will go down as the dumbest purchase in NBA history. See, back in 1991, Jordan decided to use some of his NBA money to build himself a mansion outside of Chicago. But he didn't build no ordinary mansion. What he build? No. Jordan built a 56,000 square foot mega God mansion damn. as a shrine for himself. I'm talking a handcrafted iron gate with the number 23 on it, custom cigar and poker room, an Air Jordan home theater. I mean, the man even built an NBA-sized yeah, cool. basketball court with the Air Jordan logo on it. And when you add up all of Jordan's customizations, this entire Chicago mansion is worth $29 million. Now, a house worth $29 million sounds like a nice property to own. Yeah. But putting that much money into a single home ended up being a huge mistake. Because by 2012, Jordan decided to put the property up for sale. Oh, and so? it turns out, only Michael Jordan would want a $29 million mansion dedicated to Michael Jordan. So despite lowering the price multiple times over the course of nine years, Jordan was never able to sell the property, dropping his value wow. from $29 million all the way down to $4.7 million. So in 2021, he was left with no choice but to take the mansion off the market and keep it. 
Wow. Money mistakes are tough, man. And if only so. Jordan knew about the sponsor of this video, <coughs> Current. He could have been $500 richer. Yeah, that's right. Current is the future of online banking. They're faster, easier, and better than regular banks. And Current's giving away $500 sponsor, to 10 of you guys. All you got to do is sign up with the link in the description. It's that easy. So what are you doing? Sign up. Now, even though Jordan is stuck with a mansion that he doesn't want, I think he'll be okay. Because he also yeah, owns four more mega mansions. What? One in Utah, one in Florida, and two in North Carolina. Bringing the total amount of money Jordan has spent on mansions to sixty-three point one oh. million dollars. That'd be more but than that. As crazy as that number sounds, we're entering the top three, so things are gonna get even more stupidly expensive. Even more because stupidly. Because we gotta talk about Jordan's ultimate flex. His 80 foot convertible Viking fishing boat called the Catch 23 that Jordan spent over $8 million on. Damn. 8 mil for a damn fishing boat. And he didn't stop a there. Not a yacht, Jordan a decided boat. to cop a yacht that makes the Catch 23 look like a paddle boat. A 230 foot bedship super yacht God. called Joy. Featuring five decks, seven cabins, a private office, a fully equipped gym, what? its own basketball what? court. I mean, oh. this guy even comes with its own rescue boat and three speed boats. God. Yeah, the boat has boats. And the, the total cost boats. of this colossal yacht comes out to <clears> a <throat> $80 million, making Jordan's entire fleet worth $88 million. God damn, that's an insane <laughs> way to flex on people. But look, yeah, man, flexing. Jordan deserves it, especially after yeah. what he did in number two. Because the amount of money Jordan donated to charity is literally more money than what he made in the NBA. What? Yeah. See, Jordan's first major donation came in 1993, when after the tragic passing of his father, Jordan decided to honor him by dropping $2 million to open the James R. Jordan Boys and Girls Club of Chicago. And uh, this was only the beginning That's of Jordan's cool. charity work. That's cool. Because over the next 28 years, he went on to donate even more money. Two million to Hurricane Florence rescue efforts, five million to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, 8.9 million to underprivileged kids in Chicago. I mean, uh, Jordan's been handing out bags left and right, but his I don't care, nobody said about Jordan. Jordan is the GOAT on, and he was a, on the court, the GOAT, and he's also off the court. Because doing stuff like that goes a long way and um, just shows how much of a real life human being that he is for us. Like, um, being it's just hard to describe, man. Just I just wish I could do something like that, just give back to the community, not even just community that I live in, but like other communities that, that need help and stuff. That's 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 real dope that he was doing that. Biggest donation came in 2020 <clears throat> when Jordan announced that he was personally donating 50 million dollars to fight racial inequality. And when you add up all the donations Jordan's made over the years, he's donated over a hundred million dollars to charity. A hundred million. That is literally 6.3 million more than what he made in the NBA. Damn. Jesus, this man's a hero. And look. A hundred million dollars is a ludicrous amount of money. Yeah. But believe it or not, there's one final thing that Jordan owns that's worth even more. Something so valuable, it literally turned him a into trouble? a billionaire. See, back in 2010, Jordan was looking for a way that to trouble, take his uh, hundred million dollar net worth to another level. I'm talking billionaire status. So, figuring he had to spend money to make money, Jordan made the biggest purchase of his entire life, buying his hometown NBA team, the oh, Charlotte yeah. Hornets, oh, yeah. for $175 million. Damn. Now, $175 million is a pretty happy <clears throat> investment, but it ended up paying off big time for Jordan. Because over the next decade, the NBA's popularity exploded, making the value of teams across the league skyrocket. To the point where by 2021, Jordan's Hornets became his most prized possession, with the entire franchise being worth an incredible $1.5 billion. Damn, billion. Officially turning Jordan into a billionaire and easily making it the most stupidly expensive thing he owns. But you know it's not stupidly expensive at all? This video right here. These are the times LeBron James humiliated his opponents. And guess what? The video's free, dog. So what do you. I will. 
man, Jordan own, owns a lot of stupidly expensive stuff, man. It's crazy. The craziest thing was, other than owning the whole basketball organization, but to be able to own a yacht, a yacht that got its own rescue boat and speed boats and shit like that, that's crazy, man. And have all those super matches. He had, what, like five or six super, super matches? That's crazy, man. That's crazy. But um, thanks for watching, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about the video. And um, I'll, be, I'll be back for more videos and stuff. And um, make sure you guys subscribe and uh, hit the like button and all the good stuff. And um, I'm going to find some other videos on other NBA players that got, like, expensive things that they own. Um... I got speech impediment. Y'all gotta excuse me the way I be talking and stuff. Y'all gotta excuse me, but I don't. I don't care. I think about it. Anyway, um, on to the next video. I'm out. Peace.